Hi guys, good morning. So, um, a friend sent me something on on e on, oh, on eBay. What the fuck? Right, I, I've not been awake long, and I only had one cup of coffee. <laughs> um, yeah, but she sent me something about the Schumann resonance, which is not something that I've ever really, you know, spent a lot of time on. Um, um, I should, maybe I should have, but you know, what the fuck? I don't really like doing the should have and could haves because uh, they don't fucking serve me in any way whatsoever. But here I am um, looking at a YouTube video about the Schumann resonance. I, 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 I put in the Schumann resonance and how it affects us in the search box in, in YouTube, and there just wasn't any decent video about it at all, um, really. So I've got one here, excuse the shitty new agey crappy music, but it really is just like, oh my fucking god, let me know where you live so I can come around and beat you. It's like, it talks about, oh the crown chakra opens and how, you know, we also believe that people, when acting on a collective level of consciousness, never mind individual, it's always collective, in it, can influence the structure of the magnetic field. Since, listen to this one, guys. Since many of us light workers have begun to take responsibility for ourselves and to meditate, oh yes, we know that we are raising Mother Earth's frequency as well as our own. At this point, I think, right, where is my gun? Where did I leave it? Where does this fucker live? I mean, I am at a point where, well, I did say to you a couple of days back, a couple of weeks back, I can't fucking remember that, you know, I'm, I'm not going to beat about the bush anymore, I'm going to fucking pussy food around, and if I've, I, I'm just going to give it to you as I feel it, and as I feel it today will probably not be as I feel it tomorrow, because everything is in flux, everything is, is, is perennial perennially like like a fucking you know like a seesaw like up and down and ooh and ah and here and there and we're all well those of us who are for fucking real anyway are all over the place it's as simple as that we we just are um you know the nice squeaky clean light workers right now are sitting on mountain tops in the himalayas saying aum and all that, you know, and basically just being toxic motherfuckers, um, full of shit. I come across these people over and over again, and it is like, oh, why don't you just fuck off? Because you're so toxic. Because they, they have all the issues, they have all the shit, they have all the ee, 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 and there's, there's really narcissistic and, and, and whatnot and whatnot. Yeah. And they haven't got a clue about any of that at all. They're not going within, they're not introspecting, they're not doing the work. They're so superficial and yet that is what it's how it's meant to be. That's what it's meant to look like. And it undermines us through soul travellers. It really does. It, it, it does that because we are not certain of ourselves because we are in a, in, a, in, a, in a state of flux where the old consciousness that tells us that we're worthless and we're shit and we're powerless and we always get it wrong and we're never going to get anywhere and no we can't and we mustn't and we won't that shit is there saying yeah you know you should be like them see they're the ones that you should be like you shouldn't be like you look at you you're on your knees you're a dirty dirty dog down mess uh you feel like shit you look like shit you know um no no that's not the way you should be happy you should be happy and perfect and superficial and you know um because we are right in the, the middle aren't we people we are piggy in the middle of this motherfucking war for our consciousness and that manifests on the external plane it's like these 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 new age shills, these NPCs, the mundane reality reinforcement troops, right? Um, are the sort of warriors that show up to a battle 
and just sit by the sidelines doing absolutely nothing and having a picnic whilst the true season's warriors are there in the blood, in the gore and uh, up to their knees in fucking entrails and whatnot and shit, fighting it out, fighting it out with the demons every day and that's, that would be us people, that would be us. Um, it's... I've come across so, so much just, just um, in the last kind of week of how we are continually being fucked with <laughs> on every imaginable fucking level, really. They fuck with our process more than anything, they really do. Let me just, I don't know if I can find it again. I might not need to. Yeah, it, it was this Facebook thing, right? It was this Facebook thing. And it said, just be in the now. Just be in the now. Don't go to the past because that's gone and that's, you know, that's been and there's nothing there for you in the future. Well, there's no need to go there because that doesn't exist. Just be now. And it just reminds me of Eckhart Tolle and his book, The Power of Now. And it's like, yeah, you know, just, just, Ignore, ignore everything that's come before because uh, there's just there's nothing there and there's no future and it's, it's like we all know, right, that it's a complete and utter load of bullshit. We, we are here and we are purging out shitloads of volumes of the past, of the ancestral lines, of the karmic, which is false, by the way. We, we are here bringing about the end of destiny and this is sort of from, from a book, um, His Dark Materials and the girl in that the protagonist, Daphne, no not Daphne, what the fuck, uh, Lyra, is bringing about the end of destiny. She has to go on this epic quest. It's a really good book though, it's full of rather dark nuances um, that you have to be aware of, you know, again it's mundane reality reinforcement and manipulation that you find in in everything in all the films in all the books in all the art everywhere 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 it's always there and you learn to see these hijacks the attempts everywhere you you know the more seasoned a warrior you become the more you see what's really going on and you know and you say ah oh, i see that and that's bullshit and i see that and that's bullshit and you know whatever but anyway it's a good book though it used to be called the northern light series and now it's called his dark materials which in and of itself is really fucking satanic obviously and so it does make me doubt very much about the the guy who wrote it um like who are you and what are you really into mate but well there we go you could say the same about the writer of Harry Potter, a very shadowy character. And again, you've, you've always got to be aware, you've always got to be in your power, which is our centre, the, the, the great big I am, our sentinel, which knows exactly what's going on. And again, I say evil was only put in, we, it, it is a, a natural element which is just temporarily out of whack and manifests like this, and this world is virtual because um, it it happened again, guys. It happened again. I was like, sorry if I'm really rambly, right? Um, I apologise, but here we are. Um, I was on a stretch of roads on my bike, and there were two guys with a little kid on a yellow bike in the middle. One of them wearing um, a baseball cap. You know. You know. Um, I'm, I'm pretty observant, I notice people, you know, and I, I always do and I sense their energy and they were NPCs, definitely, there was nothing there. Anyway, they were there, they're coming towards me, going toward the exit, as I had just entered the park or whatever, and I was going on my way to my bird bench to feed the little chubby birdies. They're getting so fat now they won't be able to fly soon, but anyway. Um, then I did all that, came back, and they, those, those people, the two guys and the kid were on that same stretch of road, except in the same spots, 
having the exact same conversation. <laughs> it's, it's as if they were, they'd been there frozen in time. Whilst I done, went to the bird bench, did my thing, came back and then they started moving again and I passed them and it was like, wow. There was a, a, a cyclist that came toward me at some point that literally just went off the road and disappeared into thin air. That was just like, what the fuck? I mean, <laughs> and it keeps coming to me. It's this thing I saw, it was an ad for something, but it was, I saw it about a year ago and it keeps reverberating through my uh, consciousness and it says, your virtual is their reality. Our virtual is their reality, people. We're not in a this is a, this is not real it's no it's it's virtual and i'm not talking about oh this is a computer simulation because computers are part of this realm so they're not real either but it is a like it is a bit like that um it's showing me very clearly it isn't real but anyway so that's that's all going on uh, and, and the fact that I've really even been homing in more on everything around me and working out that you know we really are surrounded by narcissists overt covert and everything in between all NPCs are indeed narcissists they really are um, and it's as if they are now more aggressive than ever before. I mean, the way people drive, it literally is. It's just getting beyond mad now. They are literally behaving more and more discordantly. Everything, this whole place, this whole realm is beginning to crack. The cracks are showing. And of course, this is really going to affect us as well. The dark generator is louder than ever before. It's literally, um, I wrote this in, in Messenger to, to a friend this morning, because it's how I feel. This is, I wake up in the morning and it's, it's like um, this heavy black hand just goes, <laughs> you know, poof, I just, oh, yeah. One feels like absolute shit and It's, it literally is the last stand of Wetiko, the last stand of the old way of being, seeing, feeling, experiencing. Limitation, karma, punishment, sin, retribution, all of this fake ass imposed evil, because that's it, it's just bullshit. Um, the thing is with these NPCs, they use us as batteries. They need, it seems, the, 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 the <laughs> because I've noticed this over and over again over the years. Um, these NPCs, they they have that they're, they're like empty. Well, they are empty, obviously, because they're soulless. But see, there is a mechanism there. Something is going on there that I've been noticing more than. It's, it's like my, my awareness is up, up another level, it's higher, a higher level, where it's as if they really have no identity, they have no soul, so they're bottomless pits, and they need um, energy to exist. They need energy to exist. So it seems as if, by virtue of us having believed all these years that this is real, We've been feeding them, we've been giving them the energy that they need. Because we've believed it all to be real. We thought, oh well, you know, this this is my next door neighbour and, and, you know, they're real people. Or this is my teacher, or this is my sister, or this is my mother-in-law, or this is my mother. And they're real, they're real people and I'm interacting with them and, you know, I'm here to learn and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And here to have an experience and blah, blah, blah. All the different nuances and the different stories that the external world has told us. This is how it is, this is how it is, this is how it is. Hijacking our genuine 
organic process telling us it is like this and it is like that and you must do this and you must do that and you mustn't do this and you mustn't do that and you mustn't think this but you must think that. You must feel like this and if you feel like that that's bad and that's negative. All negativity is bad, it's bad, right? So whilst we've been in that state of consciousness thinking it's all real and, and, and following along with the um, the external mandates, as it were, uh, we've been feeding it, we've been keeping it alive. We, the soul travelers, are keeping this shit on the road in a way by feeding it. So the more we realize that it's bullshit and that it's virtual, <gasps> and the more we come home to ourselves, loving ourselves, accepting ourselves in all our wonkiness, our our uhness, our fucked upness, the more we accept ourselves as that because that is very real, that is what we have experienced, that is where we're at, that's a part of the process. Right? It's it's like how are you gonna make an omelette without breaking eggs, basically? Right? The light workers think they're gonna make an omelette without actually breaking any eggs. Right? Okay, fine. Good luck with that. We're here, we're soul people. We're not people, fuck that. That's a derogatory term. To call somebody a human being or a person is a derogatory fucking term. So I ain't gonna do that no more. We are soul travelers. We are infinite, powerful, creator beings. Right? And we've been in this fucking whatever this is, this virtual insane asylum and they've been doing it to us and we've let them and we've played that game. We chose to play that game, we created the game, and then we come in and we choose to play it and believe it to be real. And by virtue of that, give it its power and its essence and keeping the show on the road. You see what I'm saying, people? The minute you leave the game, the minute you, you know, you, you say, well, I've had enough of playing this game, so you shut the game off. You no longer give it your credence, you no longer say, well, it's real. This is who I am and it's real. You think, nah, I've had enough playing this game now. So you switch off your computer and you do something else. You go for a lovely walk in your magical landscape instead. And you stop feeding the motherfucker, right? So then that's it. That's end of. End of the virtual construct. And I think that's what we're doing. We're resolving within us all the nuances, all the aspects, all the issues of the wetico, the trauma, the karma, all that shit. And we're becoming wiser and wiser and wiser with every fucking step. Though right now I don't feel that way. Right now it's as if we're going backwards and as if we're never going to get anywhere and as if evil is more powerful and more looming and more fetid than ever before. But I think that's an illusion because whilst all that shit's going on and whilst we're under attack seemingly and all that shit, and whilst the NPCs are more malignant than ever before, you know, the mundane reality reinforcement officers, <laughs> um, you know, especially the spiritual ones, you know, the light workers and whatnot, they're more fucking toxic than ever before. So all, all the whilst that's happening, yeah, we are gaining momentum. There is a, a, a sacred space within us, with our true self, which is yes, yes 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 const constantly and it's growing and it's gaining the yeah that something is happening on the inner plane and and our all the soul fragments are now coming home to us we are literally merging and the merging in and of itself because every time a soul fragment comes home to us we feel all the trauma all the pain all the insanity all the hate all the rage all the self-hate all the vengeance, all this, all that, all that, all the illusions, because trauma is, whilst yet it feels like somebody's stuck in a thousand knives into our soul, it is an illusion, because we always were pure, and we always were perfect, and we always were in infinite and, and powerful, right? There's never been a question about that. We just came in here to have this experience and temporarily believe the opposite. Um, so that's what's happening, the merging, and I did say this a couple of months back, I did say that we are in the merging and that is what is happening now, that's just one way of putting it and one way of looking at it, but it is 
calling home all of ourselves now. All of it, all of it, all of it, all of it, all of it. Coming home to ourselves, people. So that is why we now come across and see it more clearly than before as well, how they fucking try and hijack our sacred um, process, right? Don't think about the past, don't think about the future, just be in a state of comatose uh, now, the, the eternal now, just be in the now. Dribble, 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 you know, that's one of them. Um, and, and more now as well on, on Facebook. There's a lot of like, oh, reject all negativity. Oh, it's so bad and mean. Negativity is so bad now. Go away. Negativity. You know, it's just like, fuck off. Fuck off. You know, you pussy. I fucking hate that, right? Bring it on, right? Come, come to mama. You know, there, there's so many ways in which they've hijacked our process, people, uh, telling us, oh, it works like this and it works like that, and you've got to do this and you've got to do that. And it's always about, oh, don't react, respond, you know. And it's like, fuck off, I don't want to respond. I want to react, motherfucker. You know, that's it. And, and if you really feel like doing that, then go ahead and do that in a place where it's good for you to do that. Don't go out on a killing spree. You won't like it in prison with large march. But you know what I mean, right? Let it out. Acknowledge it. Acknowledge all the fucking wonkiness, all the insanity, all the pain, all the fucking rage, all of it. It's all there still. It has to be neutralized. It has to be alchemized. It is um, good fuel, people. It is. It's fuel. They want you to think that you have to be this perfect person sitting on a mountaintop saying, Aum. Everything is perfect and beautiful. I'm a light worker. No, no. We're soul travelers. We're the real deal here. And we're wading through the shit. So we need to acknowledge that. So be aware of how the false light tries to hijack your process and don't let it. If it tells you that you're just not good enough, or you're not perfect enough, or you're not holy enough, or you're not clean enough, or if it comes to you, because it's it, it is Wetico, by the way, people, because Wetico has a has many tricks up its sleeve. As long as it hides in the corners all the time, yeah, it, it moves about a lot. It's like a, a like a like a shapeshifter, you know. It Vertigo is a shapeshifter and a chameleon, and it hides in many different corners and many different guises. And as long as it stays alive, that's its objective, obviously. And we need to be aware of that. You see, within our psyche especially, that's where it's at, that's where it lives, you see. So don't let it get away with any fucking shit, people. All right? We're good at this, you know, we are, we're very good at it. Even whilst on our knees begging for mercy, we're good at this. We still see what's going on. Um, because we're soul travellers, you know, we are sublimely incredible. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And I'm saying that. We are incredible. We are sublime. We are, we are the all. We are everything. And we are amazing. We are. We are. We are. We are. Pure love. Pure magic. Pure miraculousness. That is what we are, people. We are cosmic, infinite, creative, beautiful children of infinite power. Uh, and we can do as we damn well please. And we came here to shatter this illusion and the Wetico, the linchpin of it all, which is evil, which is infinite self-hate, infinite withering, 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 is going to resist. That's obviously wouldn't be much of a quest if it was like, oh, you came to bring a lot, oh, I'll give, give up then. Yeah, all right, okay, right, good. No, it's putting up a fucking fight, big time, inside, outside. The outside, it, 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 it like comes in all forms and all woo-woo, and then we feel really triggered by that, so it brings up our own shit. But it's good, let it bring up our own shit. Let it, you know, come up and purge it out. Blah. More, purge, purge, purge. You know, it's good, it's fine. Feels like shit, mind you. So it, it's good and fine, but it doesn't feel good and fine. It feels like absolute shit. 
um, a lot of us are really struggling with our health and our mental health and our physical health and our life is falling apart and it's all like, what the fuck, and if this goes on, I'm going to end up dead. You, you do get drawn back to the whole notion that, oh, this is all a sadistic, evil game. This is never going to end, and evil's already won, and we're fucked, and oh god, and oh fucking there, and oh, and ooh, and ah. All of that's part of it. It's not for the faint of heart. No, it isn't, people. But then saying fuck for the fact that we're soul travellers and we're powerful. So, if you find anybody messing with your process, right, telling you that, oh no, you're not allowed to be wonky or muddy. You're not allowed to stand there on your last leg, still fighting, whilst we're sitting by the sidelines, eating fucking cucumber sandwiches, squeaky clean, telling you how you should live your life. You, you tell them, well, I don't know, what, you can do anything you like with people like that, basically, but um, they're full of shit. And they're doing that because they are, basically, another division of the mundane reality reinforcement troops. Uh, they are the people that talk about 5D, remember? 3D, 5D, ADHD, oh, oh. 5D, yeah, ascension, you know, where you still have to grow old, you still have to be sick, you still have to work and pay taxes, and animals still hunt, kill and eat each other, and oh yeah, but it's ascension, it's the new world, and Q is going to save us all, you know. Um, uh, I've, I've been looking at this queue and there's a shitload of fucking religious uh, intent there and it, on some level, in some world, no doubt, will play out as... Um, it will probably be Gilead, actually. It'll be the Handmaid's Tale. It'll be something like that. <laughs> Good luck to them. Uh, I ain't doing that. It's... it's Oh, the psyops within the psyops within the psyops within the psyops, you know, it, it's like incredible. But for us, we ride the waves, we are the, uh, the surfers of it all, of this, this great big sea of weirdness now. And, and people pay attention to high strangeness as it, you know, as it uh, materializes in your, in your fields, yeah? Because there's a lot of that shit going on and it helps you to recognize that, to, to see it. Ah, yeah, weird shit's happening. Because it just shows you beyond the shadow of a doubt that this is all virtual. It ain't real as such at all. Ergo, it's raw material. It's like clay, right? And we are the sculptors, one way or another. And we're not alone. There is always the Great Mother, the guiding feminine principle flows through us, connects us to our brothers and sisters of our, you know, our soul traveller group. And it's not the collective that functions as one, it isn't. It's made up of individuals who come here for different reasons, who do things differently, who have different ways of looking at it, you know. So it isn't collective as one, it isn't like that at all. We don't always see eye to eye, you know. But that's all right, in my opinion. Uh, I have my way of looking at it. You know, this is why I talk about wetico and whatever. It's just a word, by the way. Somebody left a comment saying that by calling it wetico, you're putting it in a box, which is a ridiculous comment and pissed me off. And it was like, what are you talking about? You know, it, it's like saying, well, you, you can't use language at all because that's, you know, contextualizing things and you shouldn't language. No, I, okay, I'll just shut up then and go and sit in a corner somewhere and never speak again. It's like, yeah, they want to shut us up, these narcs, but they won't. It's not going to happen, is it? Um, I'm just looking in my little book. I had a few dreams, you see, and I think I should finish this video by telling you what the dreams were. So, I, first of all, I was in this park and I was talking to these two people. Now, they were very nondescript looking. They were your typical sort of middle class NPCs, you know, they wore mostly um, magnolia and khaki sort of colours. You know, they don't like colour a lot, they just usually quite drab looking. Um, and I was talking to them, there was a man and a woman, they were like in their 60s, and I said, oh, why are you, why are you here? And they said, oh, 
hadn't you heard? We're here for the culling. And I said, the culling? What do you mean the culling? Well, we're here to, basically, they told me they were there to kill nature and to kill all natural things, all the trees, all of nature, all the animals. And they were there to witness that. And I said, well, what for? And I said, well, because it, it gets in the way, because we want... Um, the, there's, there can, there's going to be a new housing development and so we're there and we just want to help with culling. So I woke up from that feeling really bad and really shitty and really angry and I was like ah. And then immediately after that I had a dream and I don't have to look this up because I remember it very well. Um, I was in the hallway of a, a school. It was, it was in fact it was very much like the school I used to go to as a kid which was a really but all schools are evil, of course, we're just indoctrinated to, uh, to be servile, you know, and whatnot, to be slaves. But anyway, this school that I used to go to, it was like that, it was this massive hallway. And behind me, um, at the entrance, was this grey, bleak cityscape, not a blade of grass anywhere, no flowers, no trees, nothing, just the dead world's horrendous and I was looking at that and f I was like Ugh, it was like a punch in the gut and then something said turn around and I turned around and I looked toward the exit the way out and there was a beautiful radiant alpine landscape there the sun there was sunlight everywhere there was a beautiful green mountain with snow on the top a big river flowing through trees um a, a beautiful flowers and and grow. it was absolutely stunning absolutely wonderful crystalline almost i would say crisp and beautiful and clean and and it's a right there you go so we know where we come from. Yes, we do. And on the external plane, the NPCs are revealing themselves for what they are. And believe me when I say people, they are not really the enemy. Because they are not. Do you understand? Now, if they were real, and if, if, if all of that was real, and it had intent that it was going to kill us, destroy us, what not, then you could say it's the enemy and we're gonna have to whatever. But it isn't, I don't think it really works that way. They're virtual, they're not real. And I think that they are showing us what we need to know and what we need to learn. Um, it's, it, as, insofar as we can, it is best not to give it our energy because we have been keeping it alive. We have been playing the game, right? Now we know it is a game, so maybe, bit by bit, we can start to withdraw our energy, our essence, our consent, our interaction. Now, I've, I've done videos about this before, calling it um, disentanglement, but very much, and I'm, I'm a big believer in disentanglement. I just, at the time, didn't realise it was going to be much harder <laughs> than I realised. Um, because when you've, when you've done a particular thing your whole life, especially when you're getting a bit older, like me, um, it's, it's habitual and we habitually entangle ourselves in this virtual reality still and thereby we give it energy, we feed it, you know, like in the Matrix, we allow ourselves to be batteries to it. But once we realise this, we can perhaps shift out of that. We can disentangle more and more. I don't know. Um, again, I'm not telling anybody what to do because I know full well that we're all individuals and that our experiences are not the same. They're all different and we all have our own ways of feeling it, seeing it, experiencing it. And that is a good thing. That is infinite creativity for you. So I'm just telling you about my own process, as it were, and what I'm feeling and the nuances I'm experiencing and how I see it, you know, because that's shifting all the time as well. Um, but yeah, for me, it's, it's all about disentanglement, people, because that is me taking my power back. That is saying, actually, rather than giving it to the external, I'm now going to give it to the internal and come home to myself, because I am here. I am the generator of it, so 
I'm going to go within and I'm going to love myself and I'm going to dream a new world, which is Risa. The great healing. Because that's, that's, that's it, that's it now, people. That's why it's hitting such a crank crescendo, I think. Yes. So that's it for today, I guess. And, um, oh, yuck. you know, when you've got snot in your nose and then you go and then you swallow it. <laughs> that's good shit. Oh. Have a lovely weekend, everybody. All oh, my love to all my soul traveler brothers and sisters there. Okay, you hang in there, people. I love you all. Mwah.